Hey guys, Andrew Marsh here with DrewFit.com. I want to thank you guys for tuning in today. In today's video, I'm going to be answering the question, does creatine cause hair loss and how to combat hair loss as well? But before I get into that, I want to ask if you guys can please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like, share, comment, or leave me feedback for future videos you would like to see. It would be greatly appreciated. I love hearing from you guys. Thanks for the comments. Um, so to begin, what is creatine? Well, creatine is actually a natural substance found in basically all muscle cells and brain cells in the body. Now, the purpose of creatine is to facilitate recycling of ATP. And ATP essentially is the energy currency of the cells in the muscles and the brain. And there's been a few studies that have noted that people that take creatine, this isn't everybody, just uh, some studies that they have noticed is that some people actually increase DHT. And DHT has been associated with hair loss when taking creatine. Now, I don't think there's any conclusive evidence that this is 100% factual. I think it depends on who you are and a lot of specifics play into that. Um, but through my personal experience, I have not noticed any hair loss from creatine, but I also haven't been taking creatine as much as some people take it. Some people take about uh, five grams four to five times per day when they're cycling with it. Me personally, I am only taking five to 10 grams on days that I train, and I only train three days a week. So maybe that's why I have not experienced any hair loss, but if you are experiencing hair loss, whether you think it's coming from creatine or it's just male pattern baldness or all the above, um, one thing that can help combat hair loss is going to be the practice of urine therapy. Now, I know how crazy that sounds. If you've been following my channel, you know that I'm a huge advocate for urine therapy. Um, but if you're new to my channel, um, yes, I do practice urine therapy, both consuming it internally and applying it to my skin and hair, eyes, ears, nose. Um, externally as well. So if you are one, somebody that is experiencing hair loss, like I said, either creatine or male pattern baldness, uh, urine therapy is definitely something that you're going to want to look into. Me personally, I have male, male pattern baldness that runs uh, through my family on both sides. So practicing urine therapy has really combated hair loss and I'm almost 30 years old now and uh, when I hit about 25 is when I started to notice I was going bald and last year I started urine therapy and that actually went away uh, almost immediately and the great thing about it is when you start to apply urine topically on your hair um, you, you find that you don't need shampoo, conditioner, or even body soap and you even apply it to your skin and this has shown major benefits for my hair growth um, it stopped uh, the baldness from occurring. It actually thickens my hair and gives it more volume. And actually, I don't even need styling gel or anything to actually comb it up, which is another added benefit. So when practicing urine therapy, you can do both internally and externally. And that's how you're going to notice the most benefit, especially when it comes to hair loss. Uh, consuming it internally, um, all you need to do is consume the first morning urine. Um, but make sure you're not on any medications or anything like that. I will advise against practicing urine therapy if you're going to use it internally, if you're on medications. Externally, I like to use fresh and aged urine on occasion, but usually fresh uh, morning urine, that first morning urine, I will drink about 10 ounces of it and then the rest I will apply to my face, my hair, massage my scalp, and then apply it to my skin as well before I uh, hop in the shower. Um, but I do not rinse off the urine in my hair. I leave it dry, uh, air dry, and that has shown major benefits and has really combated my hair loss. And there's actually other things you can add to the urine if you don't like the smell. I personally don't think there's a smell when you use the fresh urine. When you use the aged urine, there will be a scent. But if you want to avoid all scent, um, you could actually use about a, a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar and uh, dilute it with a little bit of uh, distilled water and that will help uh, take away the smell of the urine. But quite honestly, I prefer the smell of my own urine to apple cider vinegar because uh, it actually isn't that strong when you use fresh urine. So I hope this answers your guys' question. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or want to leave me feedback, uh, please drop a comment below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.